I didn't meet Jesus until after college, and I had a pretty, um, I'd say, a pretty typical college experience. I was exposed to freedoms, and I took full advantage of those freedoms. And I just, as, as those things that were tempting and drawing me in, I just found them to be kind of empty. Um, and I was really wrestling with feeling like I was living a duplicitous life. I had a Bible that was given to me, and I was just reading through Romans, and I just felt like God said to me, follow my son. And I was like, man, I, I've heard of you, but I've never like, trusted you. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust this. I'm gonna trust you, I'm gonna trust that Jesus is trustworthy. So that was a big thing that changed. The things I was at war of, there no longer was that draw and that temptation to go and be involved in that life anymore. The day I started working in vocational ministry that morning, Heather let me know that she was pregnant with her son. And so the stakes got real fast. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm making a third of what I was making. I got a mortgage and a kid on the way. I'm like, how are we gonna make this work? This would not work if um, my wife were not as amazing and faithful and supportive as she is. Like, like we recognize this a lot, um, that uh, God has put a, a high calling on our family and there's, there's a lot of output. And um, we just also recognize like God has just blessed our marriage in some pretty remarkable ways. In ministry, um, I mean, I, th I think there's this one aspect that's really helpful for me that's just um, like I'm, I was never a professional pastor. I was an architect, not even a good one at that, right? And so uh, the desire to be a part of ministry and be a church has just been out of a desire to want to see people grow in their faith. Cross and Crown for me is just this, it's, it's family, right? It's this place where we've been able to invest our, our time and our lives. And it's special for me because it's a place where like, my kids are getting to know who Jesus is. My kids are getting to see what faith looks like. I want us to be people that have an impact in the relationships around us. And that, that might be more qualitative than quantitative. Um, I want to see people be able to live out their faith in a way where they're, they're, they're willing and desiring to give um, that picture of the hope that they have. Um, and, and really, that I think that starts with us really knowing who God is. There is something here about God's beauty and the way He's created this city, and then um, all of all of the darkness and the heaviness and the sin and the brokenness that's here, she's like, it's not supposed to be like this. And I think there's just this piece of me, and I think it resonates in Heather too, that um, we want to see this area experience some of the redemption and the, the freedom that we've experienced. God has made it really clear this is where we're supposed to be.